This video will demonstrate an all free software solution to regenerate any CW tone that you happen to be listening to on your own computer sound card. Let's take for instance that you're listening to some Morse code from whatever source. The quality of the CW that you're hearing is not suitable. It's a poor quality of tone, the rise time isn't right, the fall time is too long, or the pitch isn't right, or it's just fuzzy or square wavy or just just does you just don't like it and you wish you could change it. And for example, here's a tone that I prepared that I don't care for. And using the method I'm about to describe in more detail, here's how I was able to clean it up and regenerate it and use another code practice oscillator that's a software oscillator to, to totally change the quality of this. Almost perfect. And of course perfect is a relative term, but you can change it however you would like to hear it, to whatever pitch, however hard or soft keen you would like. You can do this using a regenerative CW method that uses all free software. And let me describe what I'm doing and how I'm doing that. I'm using this sound card as a second sound card to send the output audio. Instead of listening directly to it directly, I'm taking the audio instead from this mumble and sending it to that sound card. I don't have speakers hooked to it yet. Instead, I'm using an audio-derived keying switch. So it's taken the... Uh, audio voltage is going to rectify it and key a transistor. So for the duration of this incoming CW element it will key this transistor the same length. I'm using an 8 ohm to 1k ohm transformer instead of a 1 to 1. I found that that works better. So you have to kind of, depending on your sound card, you may have to vary what transformer seems to work best for you. I found that this little sound card here for 12 bucks on Amazon works so much better so much better than uh, trying to turn my regular sound card up all the way and use German that's why this circuit has germanium diodes because that was just barely to get enough with this circuit here and this transformer to, to be able to key this transistor. I'm using an opto isolator uh, which is even better since it isolates the serial port business from any of the other stuff on your computer. So this keys a serial port pin which then keys this software code practice oscillator and that's what you're hearing you can use you don't have to use this one there are many options you can use the da 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 you have to use it in straight key mode same thing with this one in straight key mode F8 EHO has a software keyer you can use CWCOM if it'll let you do straight key mode. I'm not sure about CWCOM. It may be only uh, iambic, but I'm not sure. Morse code tools also has Morse gear that has straight key mode. So set it up in straight key mode. Give it a try and manipulate the pitch, the rise time, to however you like to hear your CW best than any pitch or any quality of tone coming into your computer sound card, no matter how bad it is, you can make almost perfect with this audio CW regeneration method using all free software. Thanks for watching.